and hello guys and welcome back to Freedom Fighter. This is just a quick message. Last night around 8 o'clock I was in Halifax Town Centre and I got a bus called 521 from Market Street all the way back home. This was about 8 o'clock. The driver was absolutely and utterly appalling and very rude about face mask exemptions. So I said to the driver, I'm going to make a complaint to first in the morning. So here's the complaint I made to first on the phone. I hope you enjoy. And here goes. And don't forget to like, comment and subscribe. Thank you for calling first bus. Please note that the calls are recorded to ensure we provide the best possible service. We now have three options for you. For information on timetables and journey planning, please press 1. If you have lost an item on one of our services, please press 2. For any other inquiries, please press 3. Press 3. Thanks. Before we put you through to someone, we would like to ask if you would be willing to take part in a short survey following this phone call today. At First Bus we pride ourselves on providing excellent customer service. And we would love to hear your feedback about your call with us today with our customer services team. If you would like to take part in our survey, please press 1 now, and a text message will be sent to your phone with a link which you can access to give feedback following your call. I'm not pressing anything. We now have four options for you. Please select the one most relevant to you, and we'll connect you to one of our advisors. For ticket or fare inquiries, please press 1. For a service or route issue such as a missing or late bus, please press 2. For feedback about one of our driving team, please press 3. For anything else, please press 4. Press 4. Thanks. I'll now pass you through to someone in our team. Just so you know, our customer service advisors are all working from home at the moment, in line with government guidance. This might mean your inquiry takes a little longer than normal. We thank you in advance for your patience and understanding. We'll now put you through to someone in our team. Hello, you're free tomorrow at first bus. How can I help? Are you able to take a complaint today, Mark, is it you said? Uh, yeah, sure. That's correct, sir. Yeah. Yeah. Um, it was a bus I actually went on um, last night uh, around 8 or 6 p.m. at night. And it was okay. a, it was about a face mask uh, issue with one of your drivers. I had a pin badge that was says in government guidelines we can actually have a pin badge to prove that we're exempt. Uh, the driver said that's not good enough. He would like to see a card. And I turn around and says, well, I've got a pin badge on uh, driver. Um, I'm not even supposed to, sh to show you a card or anything like that. I goes because my card's on my jacket because it's a pin badge. It was actually rude and started shouting that it's not a card. And I turned and said, well, if you look at the guidelines information, we don't really have to show you anything at all. And we just basically can say, well, I'm exempt and you'd have to take, you'd have to technically take my word for that. So I turned and said, that's why I wear the pin badge and that refers to that type of thing. I either, I may actually register with your company as well because I've, because I've got a disabled bus pass. And all that lot, so that should be good enough anyway, to be totally honest. I've got a ticket anyway, so if you want his information, I'm more than happy to give you that, but I'm actually disgusted at how the driver's treat me. Yes. Now, I can imagine, and honestly, as a customer on a bus user myself, um, I'm really sorry for the experience. Like, you just can't get on the bus. It seems you've done what you can. You've got, you've got your badge clean in front of you, and you showed him it. Um, I'm not too sure the driver was like that. I'm going to get a ping log, please, sir. Um, can I just start asking what city are you calling from? Which area? I'm calling from Halifax, which is in Calderdale. Ha West Yorkshire. Yeah. Thank you. And what number bus was it, sir? It was... Caught yesterday? It was 521. 521? Yeah. Thank you. And you said you caught it yesterday at six minutes past... Uh, sorry. Six minutes past eight in the evening. Yes. That's the 10th... Of March. 10th of March. Thank yeah. You. And what's the name of the street where you caught the bus from? It's 16 Market Street. Market Street in Halifax. Yeah. And were you going towards Illingworth direction or Halifax Town Centre? I was going towards the Illingworth. I went to Ovindon Way. Towards, is that towards like Illingworth yeah. direction? Yeah. Thank you. So I'll just note this down. Sorry about this. No problem, mate. Thank you. Just a 
confirm. So you go on, we had a pin badge which showed you exempt and it's from the council. Yeah. Driver, just once you've seen it, is, was just saying, oh, that's not good enough. I'm demanding you to show an exemption card. Yeah. The time you showed him, this is pretty much, uh, it shows that you're exempt. Yeah. But driver was just not having it yeah. the way he was. Yeah. I have got the driver's number if that's any good for you because it's on ticket, isn't it? Yeah, um, I'll take the driver number and vehicle number. Yeah. Um, do you want the vehicle or the driver? Um, um, I'll take the driver number first. Sorry yeah. about that. It's not a problem. It's four. Yep. Three. Yep. Five. Yep. Four. Yep. Oh wait. Oh wait. And just the vehicle number? Uh it's three. Yep. Two. Yep. Five. Yep. Four. Yep. One. Yep. Then it's slash. Th yep. Three, two, five, four, one again. Thank you. So just to confirm. This was 10th of March yesterday, uh, yeah. roughly about 6 minutes past 8 in the evening. You called yeah. the uh, number 521 bus from Marker Street going to Illing, well, towards the direction of Illingworth. Yeah. You said at the time you had the exemption pin badge. Yeah. You also had a disability bus pass, which you said should have gone yeah. anyway. Um, yeah. But was it just mainly the way the driver was, like his eye chewed towards you? Yes. I think he needs a bit more training, to be totally honest with you. Hello? Oh, sorry, I'm literally noting that down. Sorry about that. Sorry, no problem. <laughs> um, thank you. And can I just take your first and second name, please? Yeah, it's Jamie MacDonald. Thank you. Do you have a contact number, sir? Yeah, it's odd. Yeah, that's right, mate. Thank you. Okay. No worries. And once again, I'm really sorry for the experience you've had, sir. As a customer myself and a bus user, it's not acceptable. And there's a way of trying to speak to the customers, um, especially not trying to raise your voice and just shouting. So I'm going to get this log. I'll call the old child for manager. They'll review it and yeah. provide an update which can take 7 to 14 days, but they do deal with it internally via a posting procedure and it's dealt with to the highest level. But I'll give you your reference number if you'd like to take a note down of it, sir. Yeah, no problem, mate. Yeah, just call me once you're ready. Yeah, I'll just grab a pen, mate. Thank you. Yep, yeah, go on, mate. I'm fine. Yep, so your reference number is 20... 20... One four. One four. Six eight. Six eight. Six four. Six four. Yeah. Perfect. And that will be dealt with accordingly, sir. Yeah. Thank you, mate. Thank you for your time. No worries, sir. You take care now. Yeah, and thank stay safe calling. in the pandemic as well, mate. Uh, know that you're a key yeah. worker and everything like that. So stay safe. Thank you. You two as well. Look after that. Yeah. Okay. Thank, okay, you, that's all. Yeah. Thank you, mate. Take care. Bye, mate. Bye-bye.